Some people will say, put your money where your mouth is. Well, I don't have a lot of money, but I have a lot of faith in my community and its direction. Because of this, I've dipped into my Christmas account, my club account, and have written a check for $250 to the city of Fort Wayne to show my support for the PACs, which will help us all enjoy the Christmas gift of safety for our children, entertainment for ourselves, and a brighter future for our city. Well, a heated debate going on. It was standing room only at tonight's public hearing involving a potential tax increase. More than 100 people filled up city council chambers tonight to voice their opinions. So what all goes into the increase? If it passes, there would be a 0.15% increase in the local income tax. It would help fund the city's planned riverfront development and fix sidewalks all across the city. The plan would raise $9.6 million for the city each year. The average household with an income of $49,000 a year would see an increase of $6 per month, or $73 a year. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson was at that meeting, and she joins us with more on tonight's top story. Angelica. Fred and Heather, many of the people who addressed City Council tonight were in favor of the tax increase, others asking them to consider other ways to come up with the funding. City Council chambers packed wall to wall with people on both sides of the debate. First and foremost, I am for the development. I am against the tax increase. Dallas Cole was born and raised in Fort Wayne, and he says he's one of the millennials city leaders want to retain. But the talk of taxes... I've already begun looking at options uh, to relocate because of this. Has him thinking about an exit strategy. Then there's Jordan Backer. I am in favor of this tax increase. A transplant from Dayton, Ohio. Where I came from, they didn't do that for a while, and it, was, it wasn't something good. But he sees opportunity in Fort Wayne, so much so that he's willing to put his money up. I will pay my fair share, and honestly, if I have to pay more, I will pay more. Some councilmen want a 0.15% income tax increase. For households with an average annual income of $49,000, it would mean paying about $6 more per month. i got to buy diapers. Diapers aren't getting cheaper. Owning a home is not getting cheaper. Gas thanks to our representatives, is not getting cheaper. Cole says city councilmen and others in favor of the tax increase aren't looking at the bigger picture. They try to compartmentalize this tax increase by minimizing how much it is, saying it's just 0.15 percent additional. But says gas tax, wheel tax, and others are starting to add up. He's hoping they find another way to come up with money for riverfront development and other projects. As for backer, he thinks it's a small price to pay. They can tax us a lot more. This is something very minimal that I think that we as a community can do to improve our town. City Council is scheduled to discuss and vote on the proposal on July 11th. For more information, head over to Wayne.com. In studio, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.